Fiction has always cloaked bats in much secrecy, but a team of dedicated volunteers in Hampshire are doing their best to change that. The barn behind me houses a maternity colony in the summer and um, for these pipistrelle bats and so the, the females gather there and have their babies and in the offices they kept finding tiny babies on the floor in the mornings when they came into work and eventually we discovered there was a tiny hole from the dormer window space where they're roosting and the babies were crawling through and not able to get back so that's been closed up now and um, they've not found so many since then. Babies dropping to an office floor is far from a one-off danger to bats who now face a desperate situation. They're declining, unfortunately, all over the world, um, f mainly due to man, um, like lots of threatened species. Um, the UK species are all insectivorous. They all eat insects. And um, so insecticides are having a big effect, as well as man destroying their roosts, woodland and buildings, etc. And one of the biggest threats to them, unfortunately, is our pet cats, as my cats caught one. Um, if people could just make sure that their cats were kept in at twilight, as dusk falls, for a couple of hours, that would have a huge impact on the number of bats that are caught and injured or killed by the cats. Um, they play with them as they would a mouse and um, they sit and wait for them to come out one by one from their roost at twilight and jump up and catch them. So it's very easy for them to catch a bat. One element of the work the Hampshire Bat Group do is taking care of injured bats to aid their recovery before releasing them back into the wild. This guy would normally be hibernating at this time of year, but it's injured and so I'm hand feeding it and um, keeping it in a warmer environment so that it can continue to um, recover, albeit slower at this time of year. There's only so much, however, volunteers can do alone. We'd like vets to, who are prepared to have a go um, to contact the Hampshire Bat Group and Bat conservation trust generally because we need their services for injured animals we're experienced in handling the bats which they often haven't had any experience of but we rely on them to um, operate or provide the drugs as and when necessary and we also hope to raise funds for that and ask donations when we do rescue a bat from a member of the public we have a big team of carers like me who rescue and try to rehabilitate the bats and release them back into the wild when they've recovered. Debbie hopes that by educating others on the species, bats can shift their rather unfavourable reputation and be steered towards a brighter future. They are really interesting, fascinating creatures and quite cute actually, and not the scary monsters that everybody thinks they are. Who needs a Bruce Wayne bat cave when you've got an empty stable? Charles Ray Palmer, for That's TV.